welcome back to Motion Dano, and in this tutorial, we're going to recreate this design right here in Adobe After Effects, and the link for this template and the design should be in the link down below in our Patreons, just like all our future and past tutorials. Now the first thing I want to do is right click, new, solid right here, and I'm going to name this uh, phone, just background. And I want to make sure the width right here is 1080 and then the height will be 1920 and I'm going to click OK. Now let me scale this down a bit and I'm going to go to effects and presets and I'm just going to type in gradient, uh, gradient ramp. I'm going to drag it on and let's just use black for now. Uh, then what I'm going to do is go to my pen tool right here and let's start drawing this uh, plus with this pause sign right here so I'm just gonna now I want this looking more beveled looking so I'm gonna click the shape layer go to contents shape path or actually I'm gonna go to stroke and I'm gonna make sure this is on round cap and here we go next thing I'm gonna do is hold down my mouse right here select the polygon tool and I'm just gonna draw my uh, skip buttons and if yours looks like this, just click the arrow keys down so you can get the three corners right here. After that, I'm going to go back to the pen tool and I'm just going to create my line right here. Now I'm going to duplicate this right here. Now I'm going to make sure the opacity is set to 50 and then this line right here I'm going to go to my pen tool and I'm just going to drag this all the way down like right around here so you can see our opacity right here is 50 so it looks like the music has been playing for about this long now let's go ahead and go to our eclipse tool let's just draw the shape right here so I'm going to select my text tool right here and just type in some random numbers. Now this right here is looking a little scrunched up to me so I'm just gonna space it out a bit. Now the next thing is I want the corners to be beveled as well so I'm gonna go to my uh, path tool and I'm just gonna select rounded rectangle and I'm just gonna draw around it just like this. Now the next thing, I want to color this to a more unique looking color. And here's a color I'm happy with. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to put this uh, paw sign into like a circle button. So I'm just going to select my clips tool right here. I'm just going to draw a button shape right here. And then I'm going to find my two pause buttons and I'm going to want to vice versa this. So I'm going to select this, right click and pre-compose this. Just going to name this like pause or something. Uh, then I'm going to select the toggle switches right here to bring up my modes right here. And I'm just going to play around, see which one is it. And here we go. Now I'm going to select the pause buttons and I just want to make this look a little cooler by putting a drop shadow on it, maybe soften it a little. Now the next thing I'm going to do is put a picture frame right in here and then I'm going to put my text down below and maybe some icons right here to make it look more abstract. So if I select my path tool right here, I'm going to go to the rounded rectangle tool and I'm just going to draw some outline right here. And there's many ways to do this. Now for my fill, I'm going to select this transparent right here. And the stroke, maybe I'll set it at like maybe 10. Maybe eyeball it a little. Now to put a picture in here, I'm just going to drag in some Halloween night picture I have. Just line it up. And if I select the picture, I can just mask out what I want by doing this. And now the next step is we're going to put some text right here. So let me just select the text tool right here. Let's just call this after, after effects.
Now, so far, we should have something more like this. And remember, this design is in the link down below. If you need it for any After Effects works, you can use it for free in our template and our Patreon. Now, let's get to animating. After it's done animating right here, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna make this a smart object. So I'm gonna hit toggle switches and hit this right here to convert it to smart object. Uh, then I'm gonna right click new camera, click okay. And uh, then I'm gonna hit C on my keyboard and I'm gonna be able to rotate around this thing. And I'm gonna give this a cool parallax type of feel, but I wanna make sure that um, this background is animated too, so I can do both of them. So I'm gonna turn it at an angle right here, select the elements right here, and I'm just gonna extrude this out a bit like this. And what that's gonna do is gonna create some cool looking 3D type of effect as it's gonna be animating on. So I'm just gonna animate my camera and zoom in now after you have a cool animation like this, you can take it even further by taking all of it except the background, right clicking, putting it into a pre-comp right here, and then putting CC Twister on it. And I love CC Twister a lot, you can do some really cool effects with it. So maybe I'm just going to animate it. And here you have it, how to create a music player using Adobe After Effects. And as always, the template for this is in the link down below in the Patreon for the members.